Did you know before blackboards came into existence, people used slate? The slate came in either black or dark gray color, and people used slate to write notes and do homework on if paper or pencils were unavailable. The name blackboard was used as the slates were dark in color. Then came along James Pillins from Scotland. He was the headmaster and geography teacher at the old high school in Edinburgh. In 1801, he chose to place a large black slate on his classroom wall to teach his students. He was therefore accredited with the invention of the blackboard. And although chalk was used for centuries, James went on to invent colored chalk. The advantages of chalk is it does not dry out. It is cost effective, allows different weights when writing, clearly visible, easily erasable, and is biodegradable. The disadvantages of chalk is it has been proven when wiping the chalk off the blackboard, the dust emanating can cause asthma problems, itchy eyes, runny nose, and skin irritation. Another Scottish inventor by the name of William Brownie Garden invented the revolving blackboard in 1911. He invented this because short teachers had to stand on boxes to write at the top of the blackboards and tall teachers had to kneel down. He used the roller towel principle substituting a fabric for slate and with this came his invention of the revolving blackboard. Teachers were able to move the board up or down, making life much simpler for them. At the age of 54, Martin Haidt from New York, a Korean War veteran, invented the whiteboard in the 1950s. Whilst working with negatives, he found one negative had writing on using a permanent marker pen, which wiped off easily. This gave him the idea of the invention of the whiteboard using laminates, similar to those used in photographs. Although Martin invented the whiteboard in the 1950s, they were not seen in classrooms until the 1990s.